Well, human trafficking continues to remain a topic in Nebraska. Last month, a report found a, quote, woeful lack of awareness among government, law enforcement, and the public. On the heels of that report, the Women's Fund of Omaha will host a panel discussion tomorrow at UNO to tackle the issue. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Shante Passmore is live. Earlier today, she caught up with a panelist and moderator for that discussion. Shante. Matt and Deanne, I spoke to a trafficking survivor and the moderator for tomorrow's panel discussion. They tell me it's time to stop sweeping this topic under the rug and speak out on sex trafficking. I have a history of being trafficked in Omaha, Nebraska um, when I was young. Rachel Pointer was six years old at the time. You don't walk out of something like that, especially something that really framed a, a good chunk of your childhood. Um, and suddenly be like, oh, I can tackle this issue. But at 34, she is and has been for 18 years. The healing process, she says, remains ongoing. I don't have to be tied down to my victimhood anymore, um, that I can, I can be a part of the solution instead of just a statistic. The outspoken crusader will speak at a panel discussion tomorrow, put on by the Women's Fund of Omaha. It recently commissioned a study from two area universities looking into the problem in Nebraska. The report uh, painted a complex interplay of drugs, sex, money, and then the hidden nature of it that really fuels it. So complex, the report reveals blurred lines also make it worse, such as the Romeo pimp or fraud in this case. An example of fraud would be a boyfriend saying, I love you and if you just do this for me, I'm going to put a roof over your head, but you're going to have to sell yourself because you're going to have to earn money back. And there's also coercion for survivors. The women say awareness has gotten somewhat better, shifting away from the idea that trafficking only happens overseas. But awareness isn't enough. They say there's realizing what's in front of you and recognizing the signs. So the third thing is how to respond. So we say realize, recognize, and respond. So then what do I do if I see this happening? Now tomorrow's panel discussion is sold out, but Women's Fund of Omaha plan to host another one. To check out the report about human trafficking in Nebraska, we'll have a link with the story at KMTV.com. Live, Shante Passmore, KMTV, Action 3 News Midday. Shante